Hello guys, welcome to YJ Digital World. I remain your host, Agu Joseph. On today's video, I'll be putting you through on how to create simple event flyer like the one I have on my screen. In order for me to do this, I'll be making use of Photoshop 2020. Please, if you are new on this channel, do well to subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content, give this video a like, and do well to share with your friends. So in order for me to do this, I'll come to my Photoshop application to create a new document, click on File, click on New. After clicking on New, this project name is called Afrobeat. That's the name for this project. So I'll set my height and width in 1200, 1200 of width and height of my units is in pixels, resolution 300. Color mode RGB, leave other settings the way they are. So click on create. The first step in creating this, I have to bring in my background. So I have already created the folder here. We have all the resources I'll be using for this project. So I'll just drag in my background into Photoshop. Okay, this is my background. So after bringing in the background, next thing I'll have to do is to come to filter here on the menu. Click on filter. You need to blow it out. Come to blow gallery. Click on field blow. So I'll set my field blow to around 25 pixels. So after that, I click on OK. So after doing this, I'll minimize this handle here. The next step is to add a little bit of color to my background. I'll come to my adjustment panel here. Click on solid color. And here is the color code I'll be using. Copy it. Come back to Photoshop and paste it in here. After that, I'll turn my blending mode to soft light. After changing the solid color blending mode to soft light, the next thing I'll do is to bring in my model image. So here's the image I'll be using for this project. I'll drag it in here. Right click and flip horizontally. After that, I'll left click to drag and position it where I want it to be. I need it to be somewhere around here. I'll double click to check. So after doing this, the next thing I want to do is to add a little bit of lighting effect on top of my model. So in order for me to do this, I'll add a layer here. Pick my brush. Hold out on my keyboard to sample a color from my background here. I left click, I've picked the color I want. After, after sampling the color you want to use, the next thing to do is to make sure that your opacity is on 100 and your flow is on 100. And make sure you are using a soft round brush, not a, so a hard round brush. A soft round brush after that you scale up the size of your brush using the open and close bracket key that is beside your P button on your keyboard so all I have to do is to come to this side left click once change my blending mode to to screen ctrl T to transform scale up a little bit okay so I can also come here, add another new layer, come over here, do the same, change the blending mode to screen as well. After doing that, Ctrl T, I want to adjust the positioning of this light, I can come here, adjust the positioning. That's for that. So after doing this, I can come to where I have my, uh, my solid color here, I'll add another layer here. All I have to do is click here. After clicking here, I'll also come here and click 
over here. After doing this, I'll scale down my opacity. I don't need it to be very heavy. Likewise, I come over here, select these two layers, holding my control by clicking each of the layers, reduce the opacity. I don't need the the light effect to be too strong. Okay. After doing this, the next thing I'll be doing in this design project is to add a little bit of brightness on my image. So I'll click on my image here, go to my adjustment panel, slide over to curve, click on the clip marks icon here. I've clip marked it. So I want the effect to be only on my model. So I'm, I'm applying a little bit of light on it. So after this, I'll come over here, click on this, select red. I want to add a little bit of red on my model. So I believe something like this is okay. After adding the curve, the next thing I'll be doing here is to place my text. So in order for me to achieve this, all I have to do is to group my layers and give them a name. So here is where I have my background. I'll select it, Ctrl G to group, or you just click on this after selection. You call this BG, which stands for background. Also come here as well, click on this layer. Hold shift and click on this layer ctrl G to group and call this model after doing this I want to add my text so in order for me to place my text and to make it more visible I have to add a little bit of contrast to my background here so that the text will be more visible so in order for me to do this I'll come here Click on create new layer here. Pick my brush. Start picking my brush. I'll come here and turn down my flow to about 29% uh, of flow. That's what I need for this. Come here. The contrast color code here is it. I'll copy it. Come back to Photoshop here. And paste it. So after pasting it, all I have to do is to come back to my notepad here, copy my text, copy this text first, come over here, pick my text too. In order for you to give your design project a well and a good looking structure, all you have to do is to come to view over here to, and add your guides. These guides help you to structure your text properly. So mine is already set. So all I have to do is to click OK. So the, the guide here enables me to make sure that if I place a text here, it will be it will serve as a guide to me in order to, to always know know where my where, whether my texts are aligned properly with other texts which i'll be placing later in this video so all i have to do is to place my text i've placed my text come over here where i have my character panel in case if you don't have yours here all you have to do is to come to window click on character so you have yours as well so I'm using the Montserrat font, that is the font I'm using for this particular text. I'll come here, change the color to white, change the color to, of this text to white, change this to regular, likewise reduce the size of the text. Okay, pick my text to highlight only this text called present and change the mode to medium. 
after that i'll increase my tracking okay i think this is okay for this so after increasing my tracking the next thing i have to do is to come over here pick the theme of the event copy it come back to photoshop left click and paste so after pasting i'll change my font to go bold go bold thin regular okay Ctrl T to scale up to transform and scale up. I'll check. I also come here and reduce my tracking. Okay, I think my tracking is okay this way. I'll transform it and still increase the size. After that, I also reduce the space between the two letters by using this. Of my property panel in case if you can't find your property panel please come to window here scroll down you find your property you click on it it becomes activated so after this i'll come over here and reposition this text called marvin i'll click on the layer click on my move to to enable me reposition it sorry okay ctrl t left click and drag and reposition the text so after this the next thing i'll come over here pick my text here copy come over here pick my text to click and paste okay check come to my character panel as well yeah change my font to Montserrat okay change the type to something bold enough think this is okay ctrl t to transform drag and position after this i'll come over here again highlight this text copy it come back to photoshop pick my text to and paste it in okay i'll come over here and increase the size of this particular text called judeci i think it's good enough this way it reduce my tracking increase the size of the text okay here yeah. is the actual address of the of the club i'll come here to reduce the size as well my resource here i'll drag this into my project here double click right click and convert to smart object double click here change the color layer uh, the color overlay to white white is already active so i'll click on ok pick my text to left click and paste over here increase the size of the date here so after increasing the size i'll check increase the vertical tracking between the text So after that, come here, pick my rectangle to left click and hold shift to give you a perfect square. After that, come over here. This is the color code I'm using for the rectangle. Copy it. Come back to Photoshop. Double click inside here. Paste. After that, hold control on your keyboard click on your rectangle layer here start clicking on this click on the layer of your rectangle here drag it above the 
the rectangle layer drag the date above the rectangle layer click your move to align horizontally and vertically to the main to the middle of your rectangle ctrl d to the selector come to select here click on the select control So the next thing I'll be bringing in is the drink IQ image. Bring it in. Click on the check icon here. Control T to transform. Hold Shift and scale down. Just click and drag to scale down. Think this is okay. I'll come over here. okay that's that for this so next thing i want to do is to brush out a little part of my model image here come to my model image here click on the layer add max come over here right click and pick your gradient map left click and drag this way think is okay this way the next thing i want to do is to to select my layer from here from this side all the way to to here we have my vins record present i'll come over here group it this is the set of text I'm grouping. So I'll call this I'll call this text. Now the next thing I want to do is to come to this layer where I have my model. Add a new layer. Come to here. Now I want to apply my contrast. I haven't applied my contrast. I want my text to be more visible. So I've clicked on this layer, pick my brush. Sorry, what you said. Pick my brush, set my flow on 29, turn on this soft round, come over here. Okay, it's already set. My color is already set. Check. So all I have to do is to make sure that i'm on this new layer i just created i'll call this contrast okay so the next thing i'll do is to scale up and scale down using the open and bracket key beside the, beside your p button on your keyboard so all i have to do is to come over here brush brush a little by making the image uh, thereby making your right up more visible so after this this before this after this before this after so the next thing i want to do is to click on this text layer here ctrl t to transform right click click on skew and skew this way after that you right click click on transform then you left click and stretch out okay after that you check after clicking on the check i want to add a little bit of contrast to this project to the whole project this time around click on the last layer at the top here come over to my adjustment panel click on color lookup change this to i think this okay so ctrl h to hide thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video 
do well to like this video subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content share this video with your friends if you have any comment leave your comment in the comment section thank you guys for watching